Christmas program is time for the word of God. How many are how many are encouraged with that? The word of God is very important. The word the God was in you know, the word was with the God. The word came to the earth and born as Jesus Christ. The word the same word we have it. The word you know we have to uh, regenerate in our heart and needs to be produced the good fruits of the spirit. So today. we are going to be uh, we, i'm going to be talking about the birth of the jesus uh, i just want to on the powerpoint so janice is going to be helping me reading some of the words so the birth of the jesus was a supernatural on according to the god's plan what is supernatural means is beyond the scientific understanding of the law of the nature so what happened here the jesus mary was conceived by the power of the holy spirit so that's a supernatural the nobody can explain that so the next thing is what happened so the next is the birth of the jesus is most significant event in the history of the world history of the mankind so the what is a significant event if you says the significant the history itself is divided into two the before christ and ad anno domini anno domini so uh, the year of the lord so history itself is proclaiming the birth of the jesus christ so uh, so why the people are not believing that jesus birth of the jesus christ so let us uh, the first then let us look on the fulfillment of the prophecy so there is 300 more than 300 prophecies written in the bible about the birth death and the resurrection of the jesus christ so um the when the adam and eve was placed in the garden of the eden east side of the eden and the whenever they disobedient the commandment of the god the god said told them the seed of the woman will be crush the bruise the head of the serpent galatian 3:15 we are not reading that the later god promised to abraham in all these families of the earth will be blessed genesis 22:18 then the seed is spoken here is the christ janis can you read galatian 316 the promise was spoken to adam and to his seed so the seed does not say to his seed meaning many people but to seed meaning this person who is christ okay thank you so the next we'll uh, look into the prophecy about the jesus birth it's the bible clearly talking about the tribe family birthplace and uh, virgin birth of the jesus christ the tribe the messiah would be born in tribe of juda the reference prophecy in the old testament is genesis 49:10 Uh, Genesis Genesis forty nine ten says the scepter will not depart from Judah nor the ruler's staff between his feet until he who to whom it belongs shall come and the obedience of the nation shall be his. Okay, the fulfillment is Matthew two six. Matthew 2:6 says but you Bethlehem in the land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel so the tribe is Judah the Jesus was born the family that he would become as a seed of David and would reign on his throne a uh, second Samuel 7:16 Second Samuel seven sixteen says, "Your house and your kingdom will endure forever before me, and your throne will be established forever." Uh, Isaiah eleven one to ten. We don't have to read it. Uh, that's a long to read. It's a Second uh, Samuel seven sixteen is talking about the God's covenant with the David and uh, the fulfillment. Uh, Luke two thirty three and thirty four. Luke two thirty three and thirty four says, the child's father and mother marvelled at what was said about him. Then Simon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, 
This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that it will be spoken against. Okay, so the jo Joseph and Mary is from the lineage of the David. So the De Joseph is from the lineage from the Solomon because of the curse of Jeconiah. Uh, the uh, Jeconiah, the Mary was selected. The Mary is son of Nathan. So the both are from the Je uh, lineage of the David and the Jesus was born. The birthplace also, uh, he would be bor uh, born in Bethlehem is written in Micah 5.2. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrahath, Though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me the one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. Matthew 2.6, the fulfillment. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Okay, so the virgin birth also is prophesied. He, will, he would be born of a virgin. Isaiah 7.14 Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Uh, fulfillment Matthew 1.22-23 The virgin will conceive and the and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Okay, so it's a clear prophecy about the tribe, family, the birthplace, and virgin is written in the Bible. Let us look on the different revelation to different people. Okay, so we'll look onto the wise men. So the wise men they are from Persia. Uh, um, wise men, shepherd, hero, and religious hierarchy. We can look into it. The wise men they are from the Persia, how do they came to know about this Jesus birth? They probably heard it from the Balaam, prophesied in Numbers 24-17, is talking about the star. And again, the probably they heard it from the Daniel. Daniel was on that place for, uh, on the Persia for almost 70, 80 to 90 years. So they probably heard that wise men from them. So they were looking for the star. They saw that star. They are the astrologers. They saw the star and they followed the stars and came to the Herod's place. From the Herod's place, they came to the Jesus uh, Jesus house. So the Jesus probably uh, one to two years of age. They give the gift, and after that they got the revelation. And they uh, the angel told them, "Do not go back to Herod. Go back to the different way." So if you look if you look on the story of this, they obey the first revelation. When they obey the first revelation, they uh, God Himself revealed it to them and asked them to go into the different the second revelation. They got it. So the, it's the same way. We all have you know we have the talents. God given to us. So we have to use the talent. When we use the talent, the God will help, help us to be build us up and give more revelations. So let, let us look on the shepherd story. The shepherd was taking care of the sheep and the, around the area where Jesus was born. The angel went and told them the Jesus was, the angel went and told them exact place where the Jesus was born. So, uh, the if they look on the difference between the wise men, the wise men, they have to use their knowledge. Once they did that, the revelation came to them. For the, for the symbol, the shepherd, if you look on their life, you know, they cannot grasp that big uh, messages or anything. They need to have a clear, common understanding, common way. So, the angel of the God explained where Jesus was. The God is not an interest of a person. God can work on your level. You don't have to be the wise person or your God does not care about the rich or poor or old or uh, young. The God can use any of you. So uh, it's like if you shepherds, the God can give you understanding your way. God can help you to go into the different level. The, look on the King Herod's story. Whenever the King Herod's, the Matthew 2, 3, 8 and 16 is talking about Herod, when they heard the news what happened um, he instead of his rejoicing he become uh, hatred he become uh, instead of rejoicing he become hatred hate 
and he tried to destroy him so the notice a different attitude on the different people so the different people toward the same message so if you hear the same message but the some will adore the message but some will hatred of the messages so uh, look on the religious hierarchy the fourth group of the people fourth group they are the religious hierarchy is the religious leaders they know the bible they are the pharisees scribes sadducees all those people so whenever heros are perplexed he He went to these religious uh, people and asked, "Where is this king of Jewish? Uh, king of Jewish was born." So they looked on their uh, uh, prophetic book and Nevi'im and said, "It's uh, he was born in Bethlehem. It is written in Micah 5:2." So uh, it will, you know, instead of you know, they know the tribe, family, everything, but instead of believing that what happened, they are betrayed the Jesus Christ and they murderers of the Messiah. the same way if you look on our life also we have the whole bible with us but most of the time we close that bible and we are um, we seal the bible and running the risk of opposing the god's plan the god is talking to us every day but most of the time we are opposing the plan by closing the bible let us look on the next thing why the god became man we heard from this kid stories kids and everything we can look on the sakarias prophecy sakaria is the john's uh, pro- john the baptist dad so uh, the luke 167 to 69 it says now um, his father sakaria was filled with the holy spirit and prophesied saying blessed is the word of israel for he has visited and Uh, redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us so sakaria uh, he was uh, he was a john the baptist he got uh, he got dumb because he did not believe the uh, uh, the word of god from the a uh, god so his mouth opened once the john the baptist was born so after that the, this is the words he was talking so he says here he came he raised the horn of salvation so jesus came to give us the salvation the eternal life the next look on the story of the mary mary story uh, now if you look on this uh, this time the uh, here uh, verse 1 uh, luke 127 to 28 to virgin betrothed a man whose name was joseph of house of david the virgin name was mary and having come in angel said to her rejoice highly favored one the lord is with you blessed are you among one so if you look on that mary story jesus came in this world to give favor what is favor favor is 150 times uh, says in the bible but out of six times is uh, favor word itself is using so the favor is grace you know jesus came to chari- carry so jesus came to give favor in, in our life the grace in our life let us look on the next one a joseph story so joseph story what you can leave there is a joseph had guidance joseph had four times god gave the guidance the first one was uh, matthew 1:19 to 20 the joseph her husband uh, been a just man and not wanting to make her a public example was minded to put her away secretly but while he thought that these things behold the angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream saying joseph son of david do not be afraid to take you mary your wife for that which conceived her with the holy spirit so the god gave that guidance jesus came to give us a guidance so he joseph got four times the guidance one when the first this is the first one the second one was the matthew 213 is talking about whenever the herod was trying to kill all the babies the god angel of the lord said take the mother and baby go to Uh, go to egypt and for the third was the from that egypt whenever that uh, herod was died asked them to come back to israel again the fourth one was when he came back to israel um, he heard that archelaus was reigning uh, in judea so what happened uh, um, angel of the go you know, he had a dream and he said to go back to galilee so uh, go um, uh, Na- joseph went and live in the na- place called nazareth the prophecy he shall be called nazrani that prophecy also filled with fulfill at the time so jesus came to give us the uh, guidance for us the next one elizabeth story so i want uh, janis to read luke 39 to 42 one uh, luke 139 to 42 
At the time, Mary got ready and hurried down to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaim, exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. So from the Elizabeth story, we can see that Jesus came to give that uh, blessed means happiness. In the Greek word is happiness. Jesus came to give blessings, the happiness in our life. The next, two, next one we can go. I'm going so fast because we don't have that much time. The shepherd story. The shepherd was... Uh, the shepherd was in the uh, place they were uh, taking care of the sheep the loop 2 8 to 10 now there were the same country shepherd living out in the field keeping watch over their flocks by night and behold the angel of the lord stood before them and glory of the lord shone around them and they were great, greatly afraid then the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold i bring you tidings of great joy which will be for all the people so jesus in this story we can see jesus came to in this earth to give us a joy the jesus is the reason for the re season so without the jesus we don't have that joy the next one we look into that anna story what we can see from there luke 2 36 to 38 now there was a anna the prophetess the daughter of anyway Peniel of the tribe of Asher. She was a great age and uh, she lived with her husband seven years and her from her virginity and the woman uh, woman was the widow about 84 years who did not uh, depart from the temple but serve the God with a fasting and prayer night and day. Who can calculate Anna's age here? Anna was seven years if suppose she was married at the age of seven at the time of the culture she lived with the husband for seven so 21 then other 84 years she should be late 105 years she can even she married at age 20 then she will be even more so you can see that by coming in the verse 38 you can see and coming in that instant she gave thanks to the lord and spoke to him all those who looked for the redemption of jerusalem so jesus came to this earth for us to redeem, repurchase what lost in the first Adam. So the next one you can see the Simon story from the Simon story, the Luke 2 25 to 29. Um, while they were the kids, the kids, kids read that part. He came in the spirit to the temple. And when the parents brought the child to Jesus uh, to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up and the arms and blessed the God and said, Lord, now you letting your servant depart in peace according to the word. So Jesus Christ, you know, came to give us a peace, peace between the man and God, the, the peace between the man and the God. So he restored that peace between uh, between the man and man and the God. So by the conclusion, uh, so Jesus uh, says, you know, God became the man, so we can be saved and get eternal life. Jesus came to this earth to give us a favor and the grace. Jesus came to give us a blessing. Jesus came to give us a guidance. Jesus came to this earth to give us a joy. Jesus came to give us a redeemer. And Jesus came to give us a peace. So uh, these all our free blessings. Jesus came on this earth to receive us and enjoy us every day in our life. May God bless you with these words. Thank you.